One of the topics that we're going to talk about today is identity federation. Oftentimes, this is a, a funny topic because the word federation has its roots buried in Star Trek, if you recall, the Federation of Planets. In this particular case, we're talking about an identity federation, and it is the linking of a single identity across multiple, multiple disparate identity management system. Look at the example over here on the right hand side where we have the Microsoft account and all of these different disparate systems have an account that allows you to have a single sign on. So Windows 10, OneDrive, if you have an Xbox and Outlook.com, Office 365, you can streamline by using identity management systems with one account. So it provides centralized management structure for any identities it gives you a streamlined user experience into a single account, and it can create a single point of compromise as well. An example, if you think about an enterprise that close, closely integrates its domains with another company, in this case, multiple or a myriad of different um, federated identities, the, each domain is susceptible to the entities based off of the security, and they could potentially be compromised if you allow them to vet their own identities. But in this particular case, uh, Identity Federation allows you to have a centralized managed structure for identities and gives you a streamlined user experience um, into a single account for a single sign-on.